Right, we're on. Look at this. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Yes, that says 72 degrees of loft. Is there any need for that? We're about to find out. So this wedge is a PGM 72 degrees loft. Who are PGM? No idea. Bought it off Amazon. Let's let it breathe. Right, before we start, there's three things you need to do. One, hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and the bell notification. Thank you. Number two, check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. Contact me there. Everything I do is there. And number three, which is quite important, click the link in the description below for a chance to win the Smithbox wedge. That's a spinner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 yards from the green. 10 yards from the green, up the slope, the pin's about 12 feet on. So, behind the golf ball, this looks like I'm going to spoon some soup, a ladle into a bowl. It's horrendous. It looks a lot more than 72 degrees of loft. It looks like it lies completely flat to the ground. But the interaction with the turf is very good. There's a bit of cambering of the sole going on there, not a huge amount, but enough to make it friendly. When you've got this much loft, the last thing you want is the leading edge digging in because I'm guessing it's going to be quite a long swing. In order to get the ball to the hole. Holy shit, what happened there? Oh my God! That, that, that kneel bit up my left nostril. I didn't appreciate that. I mean, 12 degrees more loft than your 60 would have such an effect. Okay, so it just comes straight down and stops. I chunked that one a little bit. Oh my God. It just goes straight up. I obviously was expecting that, but That's just got on the green 11 yards. I'm struggling to reach the hole with this. I'm only five shots in and I'm thinking this is unplayable already. Okay, come on, Steve, you're better than this. To get yourself to swing so hard for such a short shot, that's just on the green, is counterintuitive. I can't, I can't even hit this thing. 20 yards. Okay. Still short. Stopped quick. Right, that is ridiculous. I'm uh, actually lost for words there. Okay, I'm now 30 yards from the hole. 30 yards. <laughs> is that a full swing? 30 yards? My God. There's a full 30 yard shot. That's still short. That's a full swing. Caught that one a bit cleaner. That is ridiculous. That's just got on the, that's, Unbelievable. It's unplayable. It is unplayable. Let's try from the bunker. So in the bunker, hard not to open the face on a bunker shot. See what happens here. So I'm just going to play my normal shot, maybe give it a little bit more aggression. Wow. Okay, it's about a foot from the hole. <laughs> Again. But they're just getting out. There's no... The height's not really there because everything, there's, there's not enough force to get that ball up in the air. It's not opening the face on this one at all. Let's see if I can get a bit more height on it. Oh, but look how hard I had to hit it. Great fun, but completely 
inappropriate for playing golf with. So the amount of effort that has to go in here yeah, <laughs> to get the distance oh my god nearly hold it to get the distance to get that shot there is is completely wrong if I miss hit that for example if I was to thin that at that length of swing and that speed it's gone it's completely a waste of time so let's have a little look at the outcome there a couple of decent shots <laughs> Let's try one over the bunker, so if I'm just behind the bunker, this is a high tariff shot, you can see bunker, pins just on the green by, hold on, one, two, three, four paces, coming up the slope from the bunker, going down towards the pin, let's try this shot. To be fair though, it does feel good, but I guess there's such little contact with the golf ball, you know, there's so much loft on there, there's so much loft on there, it's just touching that golf ball, I'm not feeling it. Take the loft off, you start to feel some sort of contact, put loads of loft on, it's just an absolute sheer. When I say sheer, it's just a wipe. So now it's having the confidence in this shot to play such a full swing. Go on and played it though. <laughs> now if that went wrong, I'll show you what happened if that goes wrong at that length of swing. So that's hit the trees, that's, that's 60 yards through the green. That's the problem. That's also the problem. See, now I've got the fear, having known that I've gone 60 yards past before. There we go. I mean, it's a full shot to carry the ball 15 yards max. Oh, what? <laughs> it's... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The only real way to describe it, which is completely wrong, is it's good fun, but it's not enjoyable. Yeah, I'm in those trees. I think it's good fun because it's something different, but it's not, it's not going to help anyone's game this at all. A couple of little chip shots from beside the green. Let's try this. <laughs> Try to keep that low. Try and keep this one lower. Oh my word. Not designed for that. Look at the length of swing for the short shot I've got. That's the problem. That's where people are going to get caught out. I mean, yeah, it sounds great having 72 degrees of loft, you're going to be able to get the ball over any obstacle. But the length of swing is, is not relative to the distance of shot. So we're swinging it as if we're trying to hit it 300 yards, but it's only going 15 yards. Which, let's be honest, is not going to help a higher handicap golfer at all. So what about a 60 degree wedge? Is that going to help? Maybe not. I heard when Ian Woosnam won the Masters, his most lofted club. Now bear in mind this is Augusta National, which is all the slopes, all the undulation. His most lofted club was a 53 degree. Ian, if you're watching, can you clarify that? And then manufacturers bring out clubs like this to try and help the higher handicapper but it's just, that is not going to happen. This is just my opinion. If you've got a 72 degree wedge, please leave the comments below. Let me know how you got on with it. I'm sure you probably do quite well. For me, it's just too long a swing relative to the distance of shot I'm trying to play. So what is my advice when it comes to wedges? Marco Mira, 56 degree wedge only. He played every shot with 56 degrees, opened the face, closed the face, all one loft. It can just get too confusing. Have two or three wedges in your bag, I don't go over 58 degrees of loft. I suggest do not go over 60 degrees of loft. Yes, this thing's great fun and I will use it with my pals and trick them with it, which is going to be good fun. But I think that's all it's designed for, having a bit of fun rather than trying to help the average golfer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, let me know. Please leave comments below. Also subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, as you do, and the bell notification. Also check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. Have you entered the competition to win the Smithworks wedge? Linked below. Nice.